Hey guys, Austin here, and I have a story about One Man Punch is a Super Saiyan. Damn it, I mean, One Punch Man! Yes, One Punch Man is in fact a Super Saiyan living in a human world. Well, human and monsters and other assorted robots. But, let's look at the facts. His hair never changes. LOL. Uh, he's a uh, supernatural strength. He can destroy an entire mountain with just the force of his punch, which uh, has been seen in Dragon Ball Z many times. He seems to be able to fly even though he says he can't, so he either is lying or he can hit the air enough that he can just fly from the air force. And he got super strong really fast just from doing push-ups. He awoken his Super Saiyan abilities through sheer force of will, as some Super Saiyans will go into Super Saiyan mode through force of will, but he has not yet achieved Super Saiyan mode, obviously, otherwise maybe his head would start glowing or something. Uh, so when he was attacking the crab guy and protecting the boy, he was able to overcome his human qualities and rip an eyeball socket out, destroying the entire monster's intestines. Now that's not something a normal human could do. Oh, I forgot to mention. Spoilers. After that encounter, he goes to training, doing like 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and I think it was a 10 kilometer run. And that, he did that for what, like five years and he became super strong? That doesn't make any sense. That's like what Super Saiyans do in gravity chambers and somehow they miraculously get two times their strength. But he's becoming two times his strength as a normal human, but that eventually doubles on to five years and he just goes crazy. He just completely converts to Super Saiyan. And when that happens, he loses his hair because as a human, our hair, you know, constantly changes. That's why we have to have stupid haircuts. And so when he loses his hair, he transitions to a Saiyan. And Saiyans, true Saiyans, their hair never changes. It's never supposed to change unless they're going Super Saiyan. But they never have to get haircuts because their hair never changes. So I think because he's from a different dimension, uh, there was kind of a glitch. And his hair was changing as a human, so his body's like, I'm a Saiyan, my hair's never supposed to change, so he just lost all his hair together, so it would never change, because he has no hair, so nothing can ever happen. <laughs> now, the sheer fact that there was a Super Saiyan living in this world where there was only supposed to be normal monsters and creatures and normal heroes, it changes the world in a way to balance out the sheer power of the Super Saiyan, because the brightest light makes the darkest dark. And him being so powerful and so good at the same time, it brings on a whole new evils that you wouldn't have seen if he wasn't there. It draws in a bigger darkness to fight him. But as you can see, he can still beat them all with one punch because he's truly not from this universe. But the negative effect this has on the heroes is the heroes no longer have the ability to fight them now that the villains have become so much more powerful. I believe that the robot guy that no one can remember his name because he wasn't as important and he was the apprentice of One Punch Man, he was supposed to be the hero of the story. He constantly gets upgrades and super advances and he has sick moves and neat tricks and he constantly gets stronger as the show goes and if one Punch Man wasn't there, if he just didn't exist in this world, that would be the hero that constantly overcomes the challenges, the one that we root for to win. But since the villains are so much stronger, no matter how strong he gets, he always ends up looing. No, lo <coughs> no matter how strong he gets, he always ends up losing the fights to these monsters that have balanced out their power to One Punch Man's power. One Punch Man, being a Super Saiyan, draws a villain eerily familiar of the Super Saiyans from across the universe. This hero goes through many changes as which a Super Saiyan will go through, like Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3, what was it, did he go 4? I don't know if he went 4. <laughs> but anyway, 
this villain, I believe, wouldn't have existed in this world if it wasn't for One Punch Man. Because the only reason he came was to fight a great hero. Because there was a prophecy of a hero that would destroy him that he had to challenge. Because he himself had no challenge left in the world. But I don't believe he was supposed to be in the world either because he's so eerily familiar of Super Saiyans as well. More on One Punch Man being from a different world is he seemingly has no family. You never see his family. You never see pictures of his family. He doesn't really even talk about his family. And then he has a lack of challengers. He's always looking for a good fight. He actually has a dream about a good fight that he can actually enjoy, that it doesn't end in one punch, and he can actually try his hardest. He can punch through rocks, of course. He can fly. Uh, he unlocks uh, power within, which is kind of like when he goes bald. And, you know, all the facts just point to he wasn't supposed to be in this universe. He doesn't even seem like he wants to be in this universe. It doesn't seem like he fits. He just seems like he was thrown into this world given powers that he shouldn't even have, the strength of like gods, and he's just looking for a purpose. And he wants to save people because that's what he likes, but he used to do it for fun and now it's become kind of routine because they ends in one punch. Just like a Super Saiyan destroying a rock in one punch. He too has one punch that he can kill people at one punch. But Super Saiyans Versus other Super Saiyans, it usually is not one punch. It usually lasts really long and there's a lot of screaming and, and you know, seeing who has a bigger cock. <laughs> but anyway, that is my theory on One Punch Man, or Man One Punch, or Punch One Man, or however you want to say it. That's my theory, how he's a Super Saiyan from another universe. You know, if you don't agree... You know, leave your comments. I'm sure I missed some flaws. I'm sure I, you know, I missed some things that could never be. And he's obviously doesn't have any hair, which is weird. Um, how would he even got in this universe? Like, uh, I guess he could have he could have teleported, but I don't know why he would want to do that because Goku eventually learns that instant transmutation thing where he can teleport anywhere just by his thoughts. I don't know why he would want to go there to a different universe. Maybe he got accidentally sent there. Maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. But anyway, thanks for listening. This is Austin. Check it out. Leave your comments, like, dislike, you know, whatever you got to do. Let me know.